Hey campers, Carl from Pete's RV Center here. Today we are looking at the 2018 Airstream Flying Cloud 25RBQ. This is a rear bedroom floor plan with a full size queen bed. So let's take a look around at it and see what it has to offer. Of course, right up front, you do have the standard power tongue jack on these Airstreams. Right behind that, you do have your protective coverings for both LP tanks and for your interstate brand batteries. Also tucked into the A-frame here is going to be solar plug-ins and your LP plug-ins. So when you bring uh, that small propane grill with you, you can hook it right up there. Also for your little portable solar panels that you have or ones that you mount up top, you've got a little plug-in there ready to receive for it. You'll also notice up at the front here, we do have UV resistant and shatter resistant lenses to help protect the windows. You don't want a rock coming up off your tow vehicle and chipping the glass. The same goes for damaging the aluminum. You don't want to have that happen. So Airstream has thought that out and put these stainless steel rock guards on here as well. You'll notice we do have this front window flipped up a little bit. That way you can see it does let a little bit more light in and it does let some more wind and air in as well. Gonna help, you know, keep that fresh air blowing throughout the unit. As we make our way back, you'll notice you do have the Zipti manual awning here that is going to come out, provide you with plenty of shade on these sunny days at the campsite. Come nighttime, you're not gonna want any of your uh, critters or anything like that getting into anything. So they do have this LED porch light for you. It's gonna help keep all the animals away. And when you're headed to and from the campsite, you're gonna be doing so on these mounted and balanced aluminum rims with uh, Goodyear Endurance rubber on them. Some of the best in the industry, Airstream loves to use them. So now we've kind of taken a look at the overall classic silver bullet look. Let's head inside and see what it has to offer. All right, campers. Now that we're in the Flying Cloud 25 RBQ, let's take a look around and see what it actually has to offer. Of course, it is very open and airy in here. You don't feel like claustrophobic or anything like that. Uh, it's a great feel, very welcoming. This is the truffle colored interior, kind of a chocolate color to it. It contrasts very well with the lighter color counter and tabletops, as well as the lighter colored cabinetry all throughout. Uh, so you do have a booth dinette here. You've got storage underneath all of the seating. Uh, like I said, you've got this folding lighter colored uh, tabletop. On both sides, as you work your way up, you'll notice you do have a reading light. You also have this multimedia unit. This will do AM, FM radio. It'll do Bluetooth. In this cabinet, they've hidden away your DVD player. You've also got a couple of USB plugins there as well. Makes it that much easier to hook up your own devices for when you want to watch your own uh, shows or anything like that. So. Danielle, I'm gonna have you peek up under here. You'll also notice that next to those reading lights, you do have your Clarion speakers. It's gonna give you a very full uh, sound across the entire spectrum. Great for when you're just relaxing, listening to your own music, or while you're watching TV, catching a newscast. If you're not a TV sort of person, Airstream is thought that out. You can be relaxing on the lounging chair here, sitting at the booth dinette, and you don't have to go far away. You can keep your reading material right here. They've got a handy dandy little magazine or a book holder right there, so you can keep your favorite read very close by. Like I said, hang out on the lounge, something like that. You've got a TV here as well that you can catch that newscast from. You'll notice too, you have plenty of storage underneath the seats, like I said. It's expansive, they've really, Airstream has really capitalized on how they use the available space. So moving into the kitchen, you'll notice you do have, again, plenty of storage. Very clever how these doors butterfly open. They even give you a designated spot for your trash can that's gonna help keep the smell from wafting throughout the entire travel trailer, as well as if you have any pets, they're not gonna be getting into it. You can extend your countertop with this uh, folding piece right here. Nice and handy to have that way. If you just need a little bit extra to put that party platter with some hors d'oeuvres, that's a great place for it. You have a sink cover here, very heavy duty. You can use it as a uh, cutting board if you would like. And that covers this very deep stainless steel uh, sink. 
You accompany that with a very modern household style faucet as well, and it makes you feel like you're in your own kitchen at home. Again, plenty of cabinetry up above. You'll even notice that the fan and light here does not even uh, come close to impeding to your available storage space. The three burner cooktop accompanied with the oven down below, great place to be doing some cooking, whether it's bacon and eggs in the morning or if you're trying to do you know, a small uh, roast chicken or something like that for a nice meal. Very ergonomically designed, you've got your uh, microwave up top here. It's a convection microwave. You also have the fridge down below here, residential style fridge, full size opens. You've got the freezer on top there as well. Hideaway little spice rack of a sort are great to keep some co uh, extra condiments and things like that. And they give you this full size wardrobe here as well. Keep some extra clothes or snacks up top there. Uh, really nice to have. So now we're gonna check out the bathroom. So check it on out, Danielle. Once you start up top, you'll notice you have your mirror up top there. It safely clips in, that way it doesn't get damaged going down the road. Stainless steel sink. Again, the butter flying doors underneath there. More storage next to the toilet as well in case for you to keep some extra toilet paper up above as well. Plenty of lighting throughout too, really nice to have. So we'll shut that up and move right across the hall to the shower. You notice it's a small lip to step into it, but it drops back down to give you some added headroom. Uh, you'll also notice Airstream has put their signature retractable clothesline in there as well. So that's a great little feature to have in case you wanna just, you know, hang dry a bath uh, or bathing suit or something of the sort. So moving into the bedroom, first off, you'll do notice you do have your privacy curtain here. You can shut that up come the evening hours. So if you do have friends staying with you and you've converted your dinette into another sleeping space, you can have your own space come the evening hours. You do have a full queen size bed here right underneath. I'll flip this cover up. You've got large storage compartments. Airstream has even given you some totes to help organize your belongings that way they're not getting jumbled all around while you're headed down the road. You can watch some uh, TV at night, whether you wanna watch a movie, like I said, the news, a TV show, anything like that. From this TV here, it pivots on out for better viewing capabilities. Again, I know I keep saying, I keep pointing out these cabinets, but they're just really nice. The, uh, they are sprung, so it's nice and easy to open them up. You have a little charging station down here, a couple of 110 plugins, as well as a couple of USB plugins as well. You can notice that you can open that window up above the head of the bed. Really great to have. You also have your own reading lights. You can get some nice cross breeze through this entire unit. So if you want to take a look at this flying cloud and others like it, get in touch with us at Pete's RV Vermont. We'd love to have you here on the lot. Check us out online or find us on Facebook. We can't wait to see you folks. Start your adventure here.